Welcome back. Today I am taking a look at version 2 of the pickup winder I made in my last video. Version 2. Better and cheaper. If you haven't watched that video, uh, probably go back and watch it. I'm going to skip over some stuff that I talk about in the first one. You might be wondering what I want to change about the first version. And two main things I'm changing. First up, I am swapping out the Arduino Uno for an Arduino Nano. Why? It's a lot cheaper and it still retains all of the functionality of the Uno. The second change is the MOSFET stuff. I wasn't really happy with the way the circuit turned out, so I decided to use an H-Bridge motor driver instead. An H-Bridge motor driver is a pre-built driver board for DC motors. It allows the control of two motors at the same time, and it enables forward and reverse. They also cost like $3. This also enables me to add a three state switch so that I can run the motor forward and backward. With all of the parts swapped out, it brings the cost of version two to about $31. There isn't much to say about the assembly here. Uh, I made a new base for the pickup winder to hold the circuit board and the driver board. Um, I haven't had any issues with the rest of the case, so that's staying the same. I will upload the parts I'm using. Uh, check the description for a link. For the circuit, I am building it into a protoboard this time. I'll put a wiring diagram up and maybe this time it'll make more sense. My protoboard has these long traces that run the entire length of the board. So to break those traces, I just use an X-Acto blade to cut through the copper on the backside. And then I use my multimeter just to ensure that they were separated. The protoboard works pretty well for me, so I'll probably use them in the future. And for component connections, uh, I just soldered in these pins so that I could put uh, female DuPont headers on the components, and then I could just slide those on so that it's easy to connect and disconnect components to troubleshoot or to make changes. If you don't have the connectors or don't want to bother with it, just soldering on the components would also work fine. After all the components were soldered in, I just needed to update the code. The updated code basically just allows the motor to run forwards and backwards, and then it also it counts up and down depending on the direction of the motor. I don't really have any other changes about this project. I feel pretty good about this version, so this is probably it for the pickup winder. Not necessarily for pickups, but for the winder. Um, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave a comment. And again, links about everything will be down below.